First at 11, the moment a nearly three decades long murder mystery came to a dramatic end in Virginia Beach. When I heard it, gunshots go, I just jumped. Hey. Investigators shot and killed the man they say murdered a Maryland father. And tonight, we're hearing more from the daughter robbed of her dad. That's our top story this Friday night. Thanks for staying up. I'm Nicole Livas. And I'm David Allen. This story begins in 1992. The scene, a mini mart in Comus, Maryland. Inside, police find James Essel stabbed nearly 30 times. The hunt for an alleged killer ended here, a quiet street in Ocean Lakes. Maryland detectives closed in on Hans Hewitts. They say they were forced to open fire, killing him. At the end of the day, there's little justice for Essel's daughter. Still, she says she's been waiting for this day for decades. Bruce LaShawn takes us into the story, all new at 11. Drop the gun! Hot a violent end to a long search for a murderer on a usually quiet cul-de-sac in Virginia Beach on Wednesday. U.S. Marshals and Montgomery County cold case detectives pleaded over and over again with Hans Wietz to give himself up. Put the gun down! Put the gun down! Then something happened and they opened fire. How can someone live like that all these years knowing you know what he did. Perpetua Edwards has been looking for answers since her dad was murdered in the old country store he had just bought in rural Montgomery County. I don't know who would do something like that. On a snowy Sunday night in March 1992, police say a killer decided to take what little James Essel had in the till, hitting him over the head with a wine bottle he had just bought and stabbing him 29 times. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I felt like no one cared and they just forgot about him. But cold case detectives picked up the investigation again a few years ago, running a sample of blood they found on the cash register through modern DNA analysis and genealogy. Coming up first with a composite then a relative of who eats, and finally, they surrounded the accused killer himself. I mean, they acted like my dad was their family member, and they did such an awesome, awesome, awesome job, and we are truly thankful. Who eats takes one mystery to the grave with him. But of course, we want answers. We want to know why, and we may not ever know why. Still, after all these years, it feels like justice. He can't hurt anyone else. He can't. One more thing. Huey's wife is a private investigator and a retired D.C. police officer. We're told she did not know about her husband's history.